Hello everybody, it's Kali PvP bringing you a Wildstar video. Yes, Wildstar, the game that I played previously and I made a lot of PvP videos for. Uh, so Wildstar, for those of you who don't know, I've been living under a rock. Just went free to play, I think September 29th. Uh, it was a big announcement a while ago during the summer and they just went free to play. Uh, yeah, pretty much, I think September 29th. Uh, so, unfortunately, a lot of people couldn't play this past week. There was a lot of game-related issues because there was a ton of new people that joined. Uh, people couldn't log in. People couldn't... Um, a lot of people couldn't actually get into the game because your character was in this infinite loop thing going on. Uh, they just pretty much fixed most of the issues this past weekend, starting Friday. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of people can actually finally get in-game, finally enjoy some PvP. So let, let me talk about Wildstar because I, you know, this was a game that I really enjoyed playing and it was somewhat really unfortunate for me to leave the game. So Wildstar, you know, when it, it, it was kind of this WoW-like game with a little bit of adult humor uh, thrown right into it. And I honestly love the game. I did not leave Wildstar for any, you know, game-related things. It was just... Merely, like, it was not like Wildstar had a lot of bugs or anything like that. I just didn't really enjoy it after hitting 50. I just hit 50, and I quit. Um, so, you know, being free to play, I, I definitely like it because now I don't have to worry about paying $15 a month for a game that I may not, you know, think that I warrant, you know, $15 a month pay, pay stuff. Uh, so let's talk about the thing that Wildstar has become. Uh, Wildstar has definitely gone into a much better path. A lot of the quests are streamlined. Uh, it's not as verbose as before. Before you had a lot of, you know, a lot of quests that you had to do. A lot of redundant things that's been streamlined. For example, the starting area, you no longer need to, you know, there was a these two little drop ships that drop you off two different locations. You had no idea what those were. But now it's kind of uh, streamlined. Um, there's a couple other things that have been kind of streamlined to the better. For example, uh, I, don't, I remember previously the amp system was uh, you ha some of the amps you could unlock, but some of the amps were locked and you had to find the amp in the wild. So you had to go kill some mobs, get the drop, and then finally that amp will be unlocked for you. Uh, right now, everything is you know just skill based so if you have enough points for it and you have it unlocked by you know uh, unlocking the previous tier you can just buy that amp uh, or you can just unlock that amp for example uh, I know a lot of people hated that you know the drop system where for ex I remember I played a spell slinger and one of our really really useful amp was locked up in a drop and you had to find that drop uh, so now I'm glad that's been streamlined the other thing that I seem to uh, at least been somewhat made better is your skill bar. I rem if I remember correctly, the previous skill bar, you did not get all 10 of your skills until I think level 40 or so in, in, in game. Um, so now you're getting it, I think level 10, it, you unlock all 10 of your skill bars. So that's really good because you can kind of play around with uh, you know different builds as soon as you can rather than saying oh I gotta wait till level 40 to get you know my last skill slot uh, so that I really enjoy um, so a couple things that I you know are I'm neutral about so I'm not somewhat neutral about the everybody gets mounts I if I remember correctly again it's been a while so if I remember correctly you had to be a certain level to get the mount um, like the mount like license or whatever um so you had to be a certain level but I, it seemed that I, re I distinctly remember again I might be way off base here I distinctly remember that there was like different levels for mounts for like there were different speeds um and at least now it seems as if all the mounts are kind of normalized so I don't know if I you know it's good because starting at level one you can get a mount especially if you were you know if you bought the game they gave you let's see here they gave you yep there it is they give you like all these mounts from from you know from characters um, I guess these are this is because I had I bought the game um, so yeah they gave you all these mounts so it's really good because you get to kind of use it at level one but it's kind of normalized, so I don't know, and you know, again, I'm, 
I'm up in the air about it. Normalization's good because now there's no quote unquote best mount. Uh, you can just kind of use the mount that you you know you you enjoy. But again, I really did enjoy having a faster mount than certain somebody else. Like you can you can catch up to them, etc. So I don't know if I like it yet. Um, we'll see. We'll see how as I play along. So one of the things that I really did not like, and I can tell you, I am you know. I had a lot of issues with this was all the things that change some for the good some for the bad uh, but majority of it for the good so all the things that change for returning players it didn't feel as if they did everything possible to kind of alert us for all the things that have changed for example if I look at my mailbox I have all these items and I have no idea what where these items are coming from I have I have not a single clue of what's going on, and like I don't know why I'm getting these. Were these items that I had in, um, you know, were these items that I had in 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 the auction house? Were were they some items that I had elsewhere? I have not a single clue. So for me, as a returning player, uh, and I, again I have my level fifty as I mentioned, and I just quit after being fifty, so I I didn't really play too much into my fifty. I didn't really know what to do with my with my class because I had no idea like wh what I what I left off it what what new changes have occurred so I think carbine um, kind of dropped the ball uh, for people that are coming back well, people that you know again may not have been a huge wildstar fan like I was um, so wasn't really following wildstar too much uh, so when I came back on my level 50 character I was just kind of like, oh crap, way overwhelmed. What am I gonna do? What what is all this? Where am I? Um, a lot of my gear was changed. Um, you know, I I don't remember leaving my character like that. A fun fact: I actually didn't even have weapons for the longest time. I have no idea what happened to my weapons. Uh, I didn't have weapons. You know, the my skills were reset. Um, it would have been good to have carbine kind of at least tell. Uh, and say like, okay, here's what's new. Here's what's like, you know, here's all the stuff that are new with your uh, with your account. Um, that would have been nice to kind of be able to, um, you know, be able to kind of jump back in and at least have a somewhat of an idea of you know what's new with my you know with my class with with, with the game um, and you know stuff like that. So another one of the things that I'm kind of up in the air about is this separated alts that uh, Wildstar seems to have. And what I mean by that is, in let, let's look, look, at, look at previous games. In previous games, you have pretty much, you have an alt, you join a guild, and that alt and all your other characters are all in that guild. Um, in Wildstar, each guild, each friend that you have, rival, ignore, etc., they're all unique to each character. Now, from a data standpoint, this is obviously really, really big because if you join, have all your alts in a guild, all those alts are going to show up on your guild roster, right? Because each alt is kind of, each character, not just your alt, each character is treated as a brand new separate character. So you don't share your guild, you don't share your contacts. So if you have a lot of friends that you made on your alt, you kind of want to transfer that over to like your main or vice versa. You can't, right? Un unless you manually write down their name and then transfer that. That's that's a lot of big headache. Um, so the biggest of concerns, you know, you have the separate friends list, separate uh, guild list, uh, separate bank accounts as well. Uh, so everything's kind of completely separate. So I don't know if I like that right now. Uh, primarily, as I mentioned, you know, with my level 50 syndrome, as I like to call it, there's a lot of people that are, you know, are brand new. So I have a new character, and but I, I still want to make sure that these guys that I'm friends with over an year, if they do come on, you know, be able to kind of shoot off a message and say, hey, you know, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. But I can't until I transfer them over. So I... I don't know if I like that. Uh, it does have its own pros and cons. Obviously, a pro is you completely keep your character separate, so you have infinitely more bank account space because you can put as many characters as you want. Um, but other than that, I, I I really don't know if I if I like it. Um, I think it right now I feel as if there's too many cons over pros. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section and. Uh, 
yeah, you know, if I'm if I'm wrong, what do you guys you know what do you guys think I'm wrong about? 